ready? Super Greg's place. It's been a while since we got together. We're heading over there. We're gonna do a bit of ride. Any BW guys out there? That diesel life. That camo life, baby. What's not to love about the camo? Okay, so yeah, gonna get this baby loaded up. Hey guys, Adrenaline Junkie here. Thanks for checking out another video. This is an extended cut trail ride like a lot of you guys have been asking for for a while. I know I haven't had many of these up lately. I've just been real busy. You guys know it's been a crazy year, so stay tuned and enjoy the ride. Oh yeah, razor in tow. And uh, we're gonna head over to Super Greg's. All right, so let's roll. All righty, let's roll. Another ride. We got six machines out today. And as you all know, 2020 has been a completely messed up year. Anyways, I'm gonna spend the next few months getting caught up on content that I'm backlogged on. I wanna get a lot of good videos out for you guys to enjoy over the next few months. So if you're a long-term viewer, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for the support. If you're new, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Check out some of the other content. one of the previous video uploads where Super Greg hits the death ramp. There's a link in the top right hand corner here. There's a picture of the thumbnail on the left there and you can click the I button on the top right hand corner of the screen by the arrow and it'll take you to the link to the video. I gotta let some air out of my tires. I got like 20 pounds in them. This stuff is gooey. It looks pretty dry but it's actually like thick swamp mud. Man this stuff is thick. I could feel myself sinking in there being the last guy. I had to put in the floor, I was gonna get stuck. I'm gonna creep through the bush here if I can. Yeah, I was trying to eye up, but I can't fit. I don't think I can fit right there. Cause this is nasty. Go that way, I think that way is a good idea. <laughs> Paul, you need your black mambas on. Then you can get stuck twice as fast. Well, Here. better here. <laughs> well, better there uh, in your back again than uh, wrapped around your axle. Definitely not what these tires are made for. They go through quite a bit. Yeah, socks, it's crazy what they will go through. through. No, I got 20 pounds in my I was doing some road riding. I, didn't, I forgot to air them down. It's like riding on a wa washboard. Part of me wants to go this way. Go right yeah, there. you're here. That way and kind of right through there. Well, I'm gonna follow you. That way we can get stuck together. Well, no, ah, no. 
no guarantees. If we don't get stuck there, we'll get stuck there. Okay, this stuff is like bottomless. We're gonna try and find a way around. Time to use that Super ATV full protection kit. Outnumbered, but we're getting outnumbered by these Can Ams. I see that. And now you're saying you're gonna get a Honda. I didn't say I'm it's on get video. A Honda, I didn't say I'm getting a Honda. You're considering? <laughs> I like the Hondas. Okay. We'll see. Okay. We'll see. You should rent one down in Tennessee. Yeah, I like they'd let me rent one. They don't know you yet. <laughs> this thing's a beast. Once this goes through, though, I really like this machine. Like just. I know. like the. I would get the RC model and put some tires on it. Just it's got high clearance A arm, yeah. suspension tires, like everything snorkel right from Just setting up the cameras. Didn't have time earlier. Setting up the mic and the camera. Getting eaten by mosquitoes. Pick a great place to stop. We're all cameraed up now. Showed up to the ride a little late, so I didn't want to hold up the boys anymore, get my camera set up. And the first set of section of the trail there. You guys are familiar with that. It's nothing crazy. So uh, we're, we're doubling back because the swamp here is just too gooey right now. The only machine that's doing okay back here is, I'm full of mosquitoes. The only machine that's doing okay back here is the XMR on the cryptids. Dude, man, that thing's sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, Remember the first video. ride? Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. I that ride where Tyler and me like got jammed against the tree. That was the first ride with it on. Mm -hmm. I rolled it in West Virginia on that yeah, side, on too. Side, yeah. Rocks, right? yeah. Yeah. And like, it's not bad, right? It was just this and that it did. 
That's from something. That's just from rubbing up against everything. They stop. It's smart though. I like get protect your flares and everything. Weighs yeah. about 300 pounds probably, with the bumpers and stuff. But it's worth it. There's no lack of power in the turbo. Yeah. make a little bit of a note on tire pressures guys it's so important to play with your tire pressures what pressure might work on one tire is not going to work on another tire just because your buddy has a machine and he runs 10 pounds doesn't mean 10 pounds is going to work for you different machine different weight all that stuff matters also you have to remember that what works in the mud or in the snow doesn't necessarily work on the rocks or on the hard pack or the road tire pressures also impact how your machine handles and feels other life responsibilities I've had to sort out. So unfortunately that impacts the time I have to upload and create content. But um, eventually we'll get it all up there. So make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Post a lot of pictures when we go on rides on Instagram so you guys can see what we're up to. It's also a good way to get a feel for behind the scenes stuff. Uh, in between rides, stuff in the shop, and just other life related stuff, some of my other projects and cars and stuff like that. Aside from side by sides, I've always been into vehicles in general, just cars. I like road cars, track cars, I like road racing. I got a couple other projects on the go, I like older cars too, restoring those. So uh, there's a ton of content I'd love to create, I just unfortunately I don't have the time to do it all. Being a one man show, it's kind of hard. So we're just swinging by Gimpy's place now and it looks like some of the boys are out just having some fun on their pit bikes. So we're gonna regroup here and then we're gonna hit the trail some more. As I mentioned earlier, your ride quality is really impacted by the amount of air pressure you're running. The tires do a really good job soaking up a lot of the little bumps on the trails and the rocks and stuff like that when you're aired down. Just think of flotation tires on various vehicles or like tires on a Sherp that hardly run any air at all and conform to everything. The Sherp has no suspension. All the suspension is in the tire. Similar to a lot of other heavy construction equipment, tractors, or even your old three-wheelers or ATVs. A lot of these basic concepts and theories transfer over from vehicle to vehicle in many ways. Just like suspension settings or clutching is important, tire pressures are too. So make sure you don't overlook them on your setup.
all private property. We are allowed to be here. We are riding with the property owner. A lot of people are starting to recognize this tunnel section of the trail, but it's so cool. What I love about off-roading is the fact that you can go down the same trail over and over again, and depending on what type of season it is, what time of the year, and even what time of the day, like daytime versus nighttime riding, it's a, it's a completely different world. So these trails change and evolve pretty much every time you ride on them, and, and when you ride on them at different times of the season. So it never gets boring. On top of that, certain sections of the trails get more difficult and then we always add in new areas of the trail, new climbs, new bypasses, stuff like that, so they're always changing. If you can't tell, we're being sarcastic. We're just poking fun at people that call side-by-sides bikes. Uh-oh. Are we getting stuck? 900 XP behind me barely made it through there. He's running like bong girls or something. Not exactly a mud type tire. What's a bike about a side-by-side? -side? If you're going to call it something, you might as well call it a car because there's nothing bike about it. I get the whole, like, people call ATVs bikes things. You sit on a seat, there's there's handlebars, you straddle a seat. Sure. Guess we're not getting through there. This is the swamp we used to drive through in the other videos in the spring. But there's no getting through the goop now. No, it's all good. Last time I tried to go through there, I made it like a little bit ahead of him. The right where that tree is. It's so gooey. Oh, it's bad. It's so gooey. I think you're stuck. Yeah, I hit hard. Did you? You thought yeah, you could? Yeah, it was dead. Poof, gone. This stuff is we're gonna nasty. Go, we're gonna go forward. Try. See the wind. See my wind. Can you not go back? Forward into here? Into there. Get up there and then you go around. Probably into that tree. Okay. Be okay. I can't even open my door now. Hey, you guys move? Yeah. Yeah.
Give it a second. It's not moving. Let it cool off. It's barely going. You're pulling a lot of fun. Try going in with the winch. Oh. You gotta, you gotta. Six hours tomorrow. Here, wait, wait till you see what's outside. Back up a little bit, Dad. Oh, go I'm that way. Flat. That's your best bet. You want to come forward? Whoa. Nope. Nice. You better put it right to the floor. That's a you put it right to the floor. Right to, right to the floor, <laughs> bud. Hug the right when you go, though. He's got his helmet. He's got your helmet. Whoa, whoa! You're slipping belt. You're slipping belt. Oh, you're in high? Man, this is nasty. It's because there's this big freaking rut there the from rut us riding all spring. Yeah. <laughs> You're almost on your control arm on this side. Can I just let you know you're uh, you're killing trees not using a winch saber there, eh? Yeah, look my ass. <laughs> Oh, she's rolling. Oh, it's going. <laughs> it's going over. <laughs> this side? Hey, where's the XMR? We need support. I've already got buried in here. This is why you're Just pull up here. This is why I didn't even try here. You need a tow ring. <laughs> Just pull up there. And then he can winch off you. I'll go. Or go to that tree right there, right to the bottom. As you can tell, Gimpy's winch on the 900S here is struggling through all this goo. He's had this winch on the machine for quite a few seasons and it's getting tired. It seems to be on its last breath here. I think if you get up, it'll be like better leverage. It'll yeah. Go out of the hole. Yeah, yeah. You're good. I think it's Whoa! Turn the other way. It went once you can. the winch line. Whoa, that's diff. Um, what's our best option here? Maybe we should go back. Could we pull him back? And then you could, I thought when you were... Well, if we get a machine in front, like if Greg goes in front there,
Okay. Oh, you're at red. You're at red. You're at red. You're at a winch line. You got like four feet left. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Got a strap though. Oh, okay. Usually once you get to red, it's like three or four Indeed. wraps. Yeah. I got strapped too. I got a dirt bike. Dude, why haven't we hooked drive. that up yet? What? Hook up your dirt bike. Let's go. Straighten your wheel. Down. Straighten your wheel. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! You're gonna All break your wheel. This wheel's yeah. not turning. This wheel's not is. going anywhere. I think we need to go back. I think honestly, you're, this wheel is so. Bent. I think you're just getting yeah, more jammed up because your control it. arm is now hitting the ground. Yeah, look at that one's fucking bent. That you're gonna bend your steering. Right? Yeah, and your control arms. That's so I think we got some issues already. <laughs> oh yeah, we got issues. You're at rack. Look, you see? Wobbling up and down. That's just little play. It, it's fun. Yeah, that's fun. That's too. little? Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's the same way as Jamie's is worse than that. Because if you turn fun. your wheels really slow, and like, it's going no, it, it won't. It, it's, it's, it's so, it's, it's pushing too much. We need to go backwards. Well, I guess you got no choice with a couple of winches. At least she'll be good. Where do you want me? Like, go across to that tree, put your bumper against it. That's a good idea. Yeah. We just had to send it, eh? That's what we do. Yeah. Can't say I've ever uh, seen this thing this dirty. Did Want you see that guy up? in the XMR there, the mud yeah, model? The he went around. The, the guy in the XMR, the said. park model. Yeah, the park model. Yeah. He went around. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, I don't Pretty know. Guy. Like, don't come know. on. Don't worry, the 900S will save the day. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go more this way, like Mind over. You. It sucked, it sucked you in? Yeah. <laughs> the ruts are so deep. Uh, I got oh this. God, I got th Is this Aaron? Yeah. Yo, yo, bro, 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 what's up? Bro? bro. We're oh, stuck we in the mud, like rolled over, over on our side. Yeah, you're not going. We're far. in the dirty here. We're in the dirty. Really? That one will be there as well. We'll be there as soon as possible. Like, yeah, it, it's going to be 25 minutes. minutes. We're uh, Gimpy. Gimpy went in the duty shoot here. Are we gonna meet him in the gully at the Marizan farm? That's where we're heading, yeah. Okay, bring your big boy pants, okay? <laughs> Thanks, brother. I didn't want to talk. I love him. <laughs> He's so fun. <laughs> Once you get him going and you give him like you give him, you give him like a smearing off ice and a half and his game face is on. Ooh, but Inviting him to Tennessee. He's coming. He's my bitch. My winch bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I, I should, I should turn this off before I say these things. I can't upload this anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna DM know. this. It I'm all goes dropping, down in the DM. I'm dropping way too many F bombs in the background for that. Yeah, <laughs> man. This is supposed to be family oriented footage, okay? This is a family channel. <laughs> family. <laughs> yeah. Like the last few videos are just like beep 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 racer beep 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 maverick beep 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 beep. <laughs>
What? Is your engine temperature okay? Okay. You, you've literally got a mound of soil behind you. Greg's winch is out of juice. Your batteries will let it idle for a bit then. Let it cool off. Look, it looks like one of those rims on the Civics. <laughs> It's been a while since we've been stuck like yeah, this. That might be a thing to do. See if you can go forward at all. No, you're not going anywhere. What the appeal of going mud and like this is? You know how some people go out and look for this? Zeke, yeah. No. This to me is not no. fun. Like it's, it's obviously fun when you do it once a year, but not. Yeah. Not right. to mention the 12 hours of cleaning. 12? 24. <laughs> how the how the you feeling? Like on the inside. Well, you know, just hanging out, buddy. <laughs> hanging out, having a good time. Taking the good with the bad. It looks like your it looks like your machine had some KFC for dinner last night, followed by some beer. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> kind of got the run. <laughs> we need to start bringing a shovel. Here because right now you're tearing them apart. What if we just uh, put you both over here and pull it down? 
Yeah. Do you want to unhook and we'll move you over there? Yeah. I figured the XMR would make easy work of this. Oh yeah. You're just you still want to show off, right? I guess we're getting warmed up for Tennessee because those boys like this stuff. Is this what it's like? In no, no, that's not where we're going. But oh. I know a lot of them like this. I don't understand it though. This is fun in small doses. In an ATV. In an ATV. <laughs> or a CD. Or a CD. <laughs> I was leaving my place. I'm like, I'm not going to need my boots today because it's dried up. It's wet. Well, I should have brought my boots. Yeah. Man, he's in there. Something doesn't seem right with the front end. Putting so much torque on it earlier. in the Polaris. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I loosened mine up, but yeah. Pull on it, Tyler. Good at it. Good observation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been here all day. We were making good progress. Yeah, we were. <laughs> making progress now. Okay, yeah. loosen it. Teamwork. That uh, is teamwork. Good job, team. Oh, she's. I think my whip just up. Yeah, she smells like she's up. Oh, yeah. She's time for a new winch cable, that's for sure. There's so many crazy. I can though. smell burning, I like know, electrics. Oh, yeah, I can smell it. Yeah. Ooh. Exactly. But my steering was. Go, uh, Go forward. Something's smoking. Winch. It's your winch. It's probably the wiring to the winch. Just, just keep that in there for now. Yeah, it's the winch cooking. That winch is It did its job. It's going to Valhalla. Don't get stuck now. Don't get stuck. Ooh, you can smell that, eh? Oh, yeah, big time. You're an electrician. What's that smell like? Burnt wires. <laughs> Quite honest. Never a good smell. She just needs to cool off and she'll be good again, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, a little bit of black tape. We got her. Yeah, yeah. WD-40 it. Yeah. Okay, Greg, right here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Greg, come this way. <laughs> Man, that was nasty. I don't even want to know what's going on over here. We just wouldn't find the machine. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, in the springtime, we lost a couple almost in here, right? Where's fish when you need them? Hard bottom. Why didn't we invite fish? He would have tried this. I was saying we should have invited fish. He would have tried this one here. Yeah. Can you imagine how deep that's going to be? Because that was eating machines in the springtime. My battery's flat, but I want to shut it off. Yeah, his, um, his winch is like smoking. Yeah, my winch is cooked. Well, thanks, guys. Yeah. Less, yeah. less skeeters. Less uh, skeeters. I'm sure this bitch will love some cool air. <laughs> if it can get anywhere. And then we have the winners. Fuck, we've been in here for an hour. All right, wheel drive, baby. For the win. As we mentioned when we were stuck, you gotta take the good with the bad. It's just part of the game. When you ride, you get stuck. When you ride, you break down. It's just what happens off-road. There's a lot more to off-roading than just hitting the throttle. As you guys know, a lot of people just look at you and say, that's stupid, that's dumb, but I'd love to take a lot of people off the street and put them in a situation like that and see how well they do. Or when they break down on the trail and they don't have the parts or the tools they need to fix it like they would at the garage. You gotta use your ingenuity or MacGyver skills to get things figured out. It's part of the fun. That's why it's so important to ride with a good crew. You never leave a man down when they're, when they're broken down. You never leave anyone stranded. You put your heads together and you find a solution. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. But if you work together, you'll always find a way to figure things out. In the end, a bad day on the trail is always better than a day at work. It doesn't really matter if you're stuck, broken down, or just sitting around, hanging out with some good friends out in the bush. It's always a good time hanging out with your buddies outside doing what you love. So now we're just cruising over to another section of our trails and we're gonna meet up with our buddy Aaron and his Can-Am X3. If you enjoy the videos then make sure you leave a comment below in the comment section and smash that like button. It really helps the videos rank better on YouTube so more people can find them and enjoy them. And like I always ask, it also helps a lot if you guys could subscribe to the channel. Sketchy bridge.
first lift pretty steep, eh? Yeah. Yeah, the XMR sure did dig her out. Oh, You did nice launching it up there. I know. Yeah. That was perfect. Let Aaron dig it out and roll. And then once he rolls down it, it might be better to hit. That's where I rolled that. Is it? Right here. I'm backing down. The X3 sound wicked. Oh, you can do it. No rut. It's not even oh. rutted. <laughs> no rut. <laughs> My uh, literally gone. I won't make over that. Yeah, you will. I'm gonna go forward. Oh. There's a hole there. <laughs> I thought he got hit by Roos. I did, I was walking backwards. <laughs> yeah, watch out, there's a hole there. Yeah, I see that. Watch out for that wall. hole too. It looks like a wall instead of a hole. That's a wall. <laughs> he hit it and it just stopped. Colin, if you throw your bike down right there, yeah. <laughs> Ron, sit in the front of this with me. You'll be fine. Just be in the front. This feels sketchy. That feels safe. That's the feeling of safety. Hey, I got a helmet. So does he. Yeah, you guys are fine. Oh, here's the culprit. Hey, turn it real straight. Here's the guy that caused this mess. With the mambas? No. Fuel mambas? The fucking fuel. Mine actually didn't make any better though. You guys are you guys are promoting creek bed erosion. It was always fucked up. Oh, I don't know. I'm wearing the wrong shoes for this. Whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't even see him going down. Me neither. Oh, did he not plan that? He didn't plan that. The tree <laughs> went. Look at the tree. <laughs> Look at the tree. What the <laughs> hell? What'd you tie him to? I told you you were fine. He's fine. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even get, get it on snow, camera because I didn't know they were doing it yet. God damn it. I know. I think I'm going to buy different tires. Yeah, they're not the best for this type. Set. <laughs> He's good. He's okay. He's okay. I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming. Oh, you blew your tire off the beast. Holy shit. That was violent. This one, too. This one, too. Bro, that was, that was a good bit. I'm Are you okay? Hey, both of them. You okay? You all good, Kevin? You don't need to He's good? He's good? Oh, yeah. He's good. Hey, both of them. You all good, Greg? You don't need to Alright, let's go woo first. <laughs> I think I jinxed it. Oh, oh, you got, I, think I, I think something broke there. Oh, and I think oh, he's got, got a flat got, tire. I got one left. He popped all four tires. All four? Three. Oh, three. okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Try again. Oh, you got three. You got one left. You oh, failed. Three. Three. Super Greg, that's awesome. awesome. And that's why we call him Super Greg. I hugged it too hard to the right. Yeah. Is that what you did? He hit it right here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Greg, that was a great video, by the way. It was definitely worth the content. Yeah, thanks, buddy. That's going to get a lot of views. Yeah. Oh, you just held it a little too long. Well, I just, I was just a little too far to the right. You know, if you wouldn't have hit the gas, it would have stayed up there. Yeah. Maybe if it, it, yeah, it, it went off. It would have just stayed right there. Yeah. It's all good. Your wrist and everything's okay? That was the coolest thing I've ever seen. In my life. Hey, you're oh, violent. <laughs> yeah, you earned your t shirt, bro. You earned your t you earned your t shirt. <laughs> yeah. They're just different at oh, yeah. yeah. the Greg, <laughs> what did you do? I just sent it. You just bought a Honda. Colin, dude, down. lady driven, never been off road. Oh, I rolled it. <laughs> Never beat, never seen rain. Oh, Damn. I don't actually think you wrecked anything except popped a bunch of tires. Did you break a, a ball joint? No. 
It looked like it when you shook the tire. Was that just the rubber? No, it was no, the rubber. Good. I just hooked a touch too far to the right, and it you it sent up. it up high. You well, well, yeah, you no, it, it wouldn't have been bad if I didn't hit to the right. But Once you, you got up there, right. you should have let off. Shouldn't well, you? If, well, now that yeah, believe me, so things happen pretty <laughs> fast when you're like <laughs> facing in the yeah. air. Okay, you, you try next time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Oh, oh so like now we got a man down well, and you, you guys are just going to bail, home. eh? Oh, listen to that. I got a 40 minute ride on a dirt bike. I I be over I'll tow you home. <laughs> that's the money shot right there. <laughs> that's the money shot. What scratch? <laughs> that was wild. That was awesome. Greg, you're a monster. Yeah, you're an animal, dude. Congratulations. That's <laughs> I'm gonna you get some trophies made. Is there even a beer for <laughs> you? Gimpy just won best suck in the I'll season. I'll give you. I, I got, got like a, for you. a tea or something. You want a beer? Um, no, I'm good. You sure? <laughs> Are you sure? Because yeah. if you get drunk, you'll probably do it again. No. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna be able to get that on there, though, Julia. We gotta try. Next gotta, one. Because yeah. I don't want to get over that bridge like that. Actually, it might actually hug the log really nice. <laughs> do you, you want to try? We can try. But... I got butane. Yeah. Yeah, bud. Have you Believe seen me. who I ride with? You're in the middle of, you're in the, middle of the trails. You need. To He's the f***ing mobile workstation right there. Yeah, man. I even got the ready for when he breaks his legs. And yeah, bud. We'll fix it on the. Corey, buddy. That's all you, man. I don't even have to have surgery tomorrow. Just open me up. I got stitches. We'll fix you up, bud. So where did the where did the wheels pop? I on? got a good one. When it landed. When, when it, it landed, landed, yeah. And then it flipped and it popped the rest. Courtesy in and watch. Very great. You can't. Oh, right there, two of them pop. Oh, why'd you stop it? What? I kind of ran. Oh, right. You want to help your dad? Yeah, there is my father. You're good. Oh, fuck. Me and Gabriel out there. Violent. Like, oh, yeah, he's good. He's crushed. That's nothing. I've seen worse from him, any. Whatever you do, hands and head inside the cage. <laughs> it's still the same one from West Virginia where you got a hold of the oh, battery. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to replace, I'm going to replace it before Tennessee. I've held that thing for like Tennessee. 25 minutes, man. That's okay, you can hold it again. You're leaving? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get caught in the ring. We, we, we got a man down. What a team player. <laughs> 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 Alright, I'm going to go to the next one. Go on, Abby. We need this. We need this. Let's push you over. Get a log underneath. Like the trailing arm or the air. We need a log or something. That way we can get some weight off the tire. What about the ones he broke? Those are rock. pretty bad. There's one here. I say we just see the bead with butane right away. Oh, I got brake clean. That'll work better. Who's done a lighter? Aaron? I don't. I quit smoking. Aaron? Did you really? Yeah, five months. I don't have one. You need to. Might we want me to use my fing tea? No, I use cigarettes. No. You don't cigarette anymore? No. What? I think I got a lighter in here somewhere. <laughs> Dude, what's with all you guys quitting smoking? No one likes quitters. Get, do we have a log? You got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Ready? Yep. Oh, it's it's sunk in. That's good. No, it's good. That's actually nice, yeah. That's gonna hurt. You're supposed to have an air compressor to it already, eh? Doesn't matter. Blow it up, holding air. It doesn't matter, the beat's on. It doesn't? Yeah. That tire ain't coming back off. That's melted on there now. <laughs> no, that didn't even hurt it. Get out of here before it rains. Yeah, see you, fellas. See you, boys. Enjoy. Nice you seeing you again, buddy. Hand, you guys can't get here. Just call me, I'll come back. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get stop it. Right. Is that good enough? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. There's a switch on this side to turn it off so we can keep it plugged in for this wheel. See ya, buddy! Drive safe! Ready? Hold on. Dirt? Pull the dirt. It's gonna like shoot out. Yeah, but I can't do it. Okay, we got it here. We got it. I'm above it here, <laughs> Ready? No. No, but. No. <laughs> It'll, it'll be okay. It'll burn Dude. out. It'll burn out, trust me. It'll burn out. We'll do the front then. <laughs> Let's spray some f***ing brake clean in there. Let it get in the tire. Because that's what pops it. 
when it blows up inside. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> One, two, ready? Oh, you're going. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Try, try. Oh, yeah. Nicely done, boys. And girl. <laughs> That's like a hoist. Yeah. We should market that. <laughs> Pat and Sunday. That's going to work. Yep, we're good. A bug bite. Perfect. Here we go. Yeah. Where's my lid? Yeah. See, it's good to have all this shit. All right, you got extra gloves, clamps. It comes in handy though, because it like would be And it's nice, it just sits in there. Like... Yeah, it doesn't take up much space, like whatever. It's not like the extra 50 pounds changes it. Yeah. But, like you wouldn't want to deal oh, yeah. with this without having the shit, right? Like, you're well, you're... Well, get, we can make this a quick fix, right? Yeah. If you don't have it, you're Oh no! Oh, that's <laughs> I gotta close my box up. It's gonna get wet. There it is. Oh, you broke the jack. Oh, damn! Can't pen pen that. Copper is not too much. You know the drill. I know. You don't roll it unless the camera's rolling. I know. I think we got most of that though. Well, between everybody, I think we got most of your, it. Your daughter got the best shot. Yeah. Yeah. It's like she knows when dad's about to roll over. <laughs> yeah. Good as new. Not even smoking. It's a tough little bugger. Oh, yeah. I think that's even a record for me blowing three tires in one. I've done two before, but never three. Well, I don't know if that's a good thing about next time then. <laughs> You all right, Super Greg? How was that? That was awesome. Yeah. Super Greg's always got a smile on his face, whether things go good or bad. When you try climbs like that, sometimes things can go wrong. You never know. It's part of the fun, though. You know, pushing the limit is what makes it a good time. And uh, the important part is nobody got hurt. The machine's fine. It just took a little bit of a little bit of work, and we got her fixed up, and she's good to go again. That's not going to slow down Super Greg. Well, I think I've said I hate this bridge multiple times and I just knew it was gonna be a matter of time till one of us slip off or one of the logs breaks because we've been putting off fixing this bridge for ages. Well, I went a little bit too far to the right and one of the logs broke and here I am. Well, I'm dickered. It's silly situations like this that make it really important to run heavy duty and high quality components. Well, that Super ATV control arm is pretty tough. You guys know I've been a fan of Super ATV for a long time and I also support a lot of other brands I believe in. This speaks for itself. I don't really have to work hard selling this product. These arms are way stronger than stock. If this was a stock arm, it'd be broken and I'd be screwed. Sometimes unforeseen circumstances happen off-road as you guys know. So having the proper components in a well-maintained rig makes a difference between making it home and being stranded. When you break down close to home or on your local trails, it's not that big of a deal. But when you break down in the middle of the bush or you're a few hours into a ride on a trip, then that can be a pretty serious issue and it can also lead to a lot of collateral damage trying to get your machine out, as well as bodily harm depending on when the component fails. You need to build and maintain your machine based on the way you plan on using it. I know that chrome molly arm can hold the weight of this vehicle and I know it's not going to get damaged because we're pulling the whole weight of the vehicle on that log on that 1A arm. You would not be able to get away doing this on stock components. So keep that in mind when you're sending it.
can only put so much trust into certain stock components if you wanna race or jump or ride hard or treat your machine like a rock bouncer, you're gonna to have to upgrade things. Most of these machines are built well from the factory, but they're not designed to handle the repeated abuse a lot of us want to put them through. I'm also convinced that a lot of manufacturers underbuild components just to fuel the aftermarket. Should I go again? Fuck that, I'm going this way. So that bridge has mentally traumatized me for the day and I'm going around. In addition to my theory on the manufacturers underbuilding components to fuel the aftermarket, you also have to remember they're all playing a numbers game. Machines need the best power to weight ratio. They want to put in the lowest weight machines. Uh, they want to save money on mass production. All that stuff's important. When they underbuild a component, the machine is lighter, and it also acts as a shear pin. So the axle breaks, or the A-arm breaks, the frame doesn't shear, stuff like that. There's a lot of variables that go into creating these mass-produced machines, and a reason behind why they're built the way they are. Aside from this being a really steep ledge, it was hard to get any grip and acceleration in the creek because the bottom is all silt. trying to get back to the trailer and everyone's already had their fix and avoided a few close calls and it's just better to pull out the winch because this is when things always tend to go wrong. I just said thanks to Super Greg for helping me off the bridge and helping me get up the ledge there and he looked at me and said thank you for helping him fix his tires and get everything sorted after the roll. It's always a team effort when you're out here riding with your buddies. Off-roading is definitely a team sport. make it off the trails we're heading back towards the road now all the machines made it back under their own power so uh, anytime you can do that as a group then it's a win and uh, the local guys are heading home in the side by sides I'm heading back to the trailer your wheels are like all over the place you win some you lose some Well, we made it. Another successful ride, just a short, quick one today. Nothing too crazy. Well, there was some crazy stuff even in a short amount of time we were out, so we never failed to disappoint in that department. But definitely not one of our longer rides. Still a good time, weather held out, so yeah. Razor's a little dirtier than when we left. Time to get strapped down and head home. Give this thing a good clean. Thanks for watching. 
Appreciate the support from all you guys over the last few seasons. Bear with me, I'm getting a little caught up on the uploads. Life can be a little hectic and uh, sometimes that impacts my free time and ability to upload as much content as I like to. So uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out some of the other content if you haven't done so already. So we'll see you in the next video. Ride safe out there. Do you want to be featured in an Adrenaline Junkie Prod video? Then send us your best action carnage and fail clips. Check out the website for more details. Do you have a YouTube channel? Want more exposure? Reach out to us and we'll put together an action cut of your best videos and shout you out on our channel. As a bonus, if we use your clips in our videos, then we'll send you some Adrenaline Junkie Prod swag. Now get out there and send it.